Hey there, I didn't see you. Well, today I'm going to explain about how to get and how to solve a standard equation. First, for every set of data, you could have the mean and the standard deviation. Well, now we have a new set of data. A five salary of five men. 21, 50, 62, 85, and 90. Well, the mean of the of all this set of data will be 61.6. And the standard deviation will be 28.01. Then, well, this is easy. This is all. Oh, you're asking, how did I get that? Well, that's great to see. This is the first step to calculate the standard deviation. Is to calculate the mean. You have to arrange your. Well, in this case, I didn't arrange them because like, I don't have the problem. So you have to put your your values and divided by the same amount of values. Represented the mean by the x by a bar inside on top of the mean. Then you have to start cooking it. You put it, and at the end you will have the answer. It will be. One, one, now we get the mean, my partner will explain the second part. Alright, now we need to calculate the mean from each point. So we have here the, the data itself, we have, we have here the mean, which is going to be the same, obviously. And then, here we're going to subtract the data and the mean. So, the first point is minus 40.6. Second one is uh, minus 11. Uh, minus 11.6. The third one is 0.4. The fifth, uh, fourth one is 23.4. And the last one is 28.4. The next step is squaring these products. So the first number is going to be. 1648.36 second one is 134.56 the next one is uh, 0 0 0.16 the next one is <laughs> and the last one is going to be 800 806 point 56 well, now we have the all square differences, you have to calculate the mean. So you have to have to write all of this and your calculator so it will be more easy. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, and you will get 627.44. <coughs> well, the last step is just taking the square root of the product we had. So the product of the mean of these products is 627.44 and the square root is 25.05. And remember, these are the five steps to solve a standard deviation. First, you calculate the mean that is represented by the x on the top bar. The second step, subtract the mean from each data point. Third step, square each difference. Fourth step, calculate the mean for the square differences. And at the end, you only have to do a square root. The formula for standard deviation is this, and the sigma represents the standard deviation itself. Uh, well, this the symbol, somatoria, means to add everything. And then we have x, which represents a data point. Uh, x with a bar on the top, which represents the mean. And n is the number of data points. Okay, now we're going to explain sample variance. And this is the formula. And this is what each uh, symbol represents. S represents the sample variance itself. X is a data point. 
x with a bar at the top is mean and is the number of data points and the symbol sumatoria means at everything well uh, the sample variance is basically the standard deviation but of a, a single sample of a whole population well if you say that you will think it's the same as the standard deviation no it has a big difference in the first step that is by this if you remember when we said that in the first step of the standard deviation we have to calculate the mean of the already square square differences so that in that part exactly when you start making the mean instead of only dividing by the set of numbers you are going to first divide no subtract minus one with the whole number